A very long requested and awaited story time. Hey, my name's Yilby Bub. Well, it's not my real name, but I don't feel like leaking myself right now. Considering most of you guys still think that I murdered my mom, that's not what happened. And I'm here to talk about what actually happened that night, even though I'm probably not allowed to because there is an open case. But I will be reached out to if it's not okay to talk about. I'm not really comfortable sharing about it, but it is on me because I did start to post about it again. But I haven't been on the internet in a good five something years since I got out of the hospital. So let's get into to it so i was six or seven years old i think it was i was six and then my seventh birthday was a couple months from then it was sometime in september i'm just gonna be telling this the way i remember it by the way but my mom and my dad got into a really bad argument and she did end up deceased she was pushed down the stairs i remember the feeling because there was screaming and then everything went kind of like completely silent and believe me i will never be able to get that feeling or just the sound of silence out of my head after that again. But after that happened, I was hiding. I was obviously very upset. I didn't know what happened. That was my mom, that was my dad. So my dad came and found me in, but basically my dad came in and he told me to take the blame for everything. Whatever they asked me, just say that it was me. So that's what I did. I wasn't charged with anything because I don't believe that they actually thought that it was me, but somehow the internet found out. And I, you can still find the case online if you figure out my name. If you figure out my father's name, you can still find it. But my dad is a walking free man right now, as the case was deemed an accident. So that's why I personally opened up a case, so I can put him away. I do not consider that man my father. He took my mother away from me. But after that, I was placed into a hospital for children. And then placed into foster care, which I am with my adoptive family as we speak. So please stop assuming and believing everything you see online. because.